Now, from your weather authority, here's meteorologist Kara Thompson. Good evening, Concho Valley. Well, we do have a little bit of a break from the rain for right now, but we also have some cooler temperatures out there. Right now here in San Angelo, 72 degrees, dew point pretty high at 66 degrees. Humidity, you might have noticed it's feeling a little bit muggy outside as well, is at 81%. We're getting winds from the northeast at 7 miles per hour. And speaking of rain, this is the rainfall total from the last 96 hours, basically for the past four days. And as you can see, it's pretty remarkable. Over five inches in wall and even at San Angelo's State Park and Menard at four inches. So this is a lot to get in just four days overall. Even Sterling City and Junction, while they're in the lower portion, they've gotten over an inch and a half of rain just over these past couple days. So really, we've gotten a lot of beneficial rain from the past few days in this event. It's going to be coming to an end soon, though. But here are some viewer photos just to see how much this rain has impacted us. This is a photo from Paul Templin. Uh, this is over on Southwest near the McDonald's on Southwest where they have that flood gauge and you can tell it's above two feet at that time and here's actually a car soon coming up on the video who's going to try to pass through this moving flood water in the area so really you shouldn't have attempted this in the first place since the car was almost submerged at that point uh, but we had some people who tried to do that and get stuck but like I said rain has cleared out we actually got to see a little bit of a sunset today this is from Donna Fry McDermott so lovely picture overall and thank y'all for sending in those viewer photos to us and if you have any viewer photos you can send it to our KLST Facebook page. Now taking a quick look at that radar and satellite right now as you can see it's pretty clear overall we had some of that rain going across Menard and McCullough County earlier that has moved out of the way and those flash flood watches as well as the flood advisories have expired for tonight. We're probably going to be staying relatively dry overnight tonight. So just looking back at the Almanac data for today. We had a below average temperature. Our high was only 75 degrees, so definitely feeling like fall out there. Not going to last too long, though. Our low this morning was at 71 degrees, but as you can see down at the bottom, we are above our year to date average in terms of rainfall, almost close to two and a half inches. So that's definitely a good thing at this point. And this will hold us over if we continue to not see any rain for a little bit, but we could be seeing rain by next week. So, future cast of what to expect. We could be seeing some stray showers, probably light tomorrow morning. Definitely going to be mostly cloudy skies. I think most of the rain will be staying down to our southeast overall. But then we're going to start clearing as we head into Sunday evening. And then as we go into Monday, we're going to be seeing overall mostly sunny skies. And that rain has basically gone out of the picture. Now, here's something that hasn't gone out of the picture, though, and this is mainly for the east coast, is tropical storm Florence. So right now it's a tropical storm, but the National Hurricane Center is expecting it to reach to a Category 4 hurricane, which means winds between 131 miles per hour and 155. And this could be impacting the East Coast. We're already seeing states of emergencies in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. So if you have anyone who lives out there, make sure they have a plan because this could be making landfall by next week. So for tonight's forecast, low 66, about a 20% chance of rain. And for tomorrow, 20% chance of rain with a high of 84 degrees. And for your weather authority extended forecast for the rest of the week, rain chances are basically out of the photo and we're seeing mostly sunny skies. We'll be back after the break.